Hey guys, so it's a poopy wet day. Um, there were rumors of a snowstorm apparently, like on Friday, everyone at work was saying like, oh, there's supposed to be a huge snowstorm on Monday starting Sunday night. And I knew it wasn't gonna happen and it didn't happen. It's just kind of rainy. I suppose it could always still snow, but to me it just looks like a wet day. So, I still need to finish that Jack Frost picture, so I'm gonna do that today and I'm gonna make those cupcakes. And Christian asked if we could, well, he didn't ask if we could go, but he suggested we go to the Lego movie. And I was like, sweet, okay, because I was uh, seeing stuff about it online last night. And I was kind of like, oh, this kind of looks like a good movie. And then today he suggested it, so I was like, yeah, let's do it. So we're going to go see a Lego movie tonight at 7.40. So before then, I have to do the cupcakes and Jack Frost thingy. I don't know if I'll be able to edit the Jack Frost video today. We'll see. Depends how late we get back. Well, no, because I'll have to edit the vlog when we get back. Hmm. Well, at least finish the artwork. Don't know if I'll get it edited, though. But first, right now, I'm going to make these delicious red velvet cupcakes. Well, I'm assuming it would be delicious. The only red velvet cupcakes I ever had were, like, these little tiny red ones that I had a few weeks ago. But I always wanted red velvet, so I'm going to make some. And I thought the cream cheese frosting would be better than vanilla, so that is what I got. Hee <laughs> pink. So apparently I don't own a whisk. I thought I did, but it probably got lost in student housing. Someone probably took it and claimed it as their own. So I get to stir this with a fork. Yeah. So here's the batter. It looks slightly chunky, but that's the best I could do stirring it manually. This seems really thick. I mean, I've never made cupcakes before, but this is really thick. Mm, raw egg. So yummy. <laughs> so here are the cupcakes. And please let me know if these look overfilled. I've never made cupcakes before, but I thought you were only supposed to fill them halfway. These are a little more than halfway, but the recipe said this makes 12 cupcakes. So I put it all in, so we'll see how it goes. Also, I'm using the jumbo sized little papers. So these are like big ones and they're already filled this much. So I hope they don't just kind of spew over as they cook. All right, I just put them in the oven. And I'm hoping the oven's preheated because this oven doesn't beep or anything when it's done preheating. You just kind of have to guess. <laughs> and there's no like digital clock or anything. The timer on here is like really not precise and it's really annoying. So I have to always use the timer on my phone. Just so ghetto. So it's gonna take 18 minutes and then we will check on them. So I was just walking around the kitchen and I'm like, why are my feet sticking to the linoleum a little? And then I remembered, I'm wearing my doggy socks. It's got like rubber bottom and then got a little doggy on the side. I got these from Christian's mom for Christmas. So here are the cupcakes. I guess they weren't overfilled. They didn't fluff up as much as I thought they would. This one though is a little bit weird. But they all look good, and I had to put them in for a few more minutes because I did a little toothpick test and didn't come out clean. So they're all good to go. I just gotta let them cool, and then I will ice them. <laughs> Sorry if I'm making you guys hungry. <laughs> so here are the cupcakes. I'm gonna eat the deformed one first so that it's out of the way. Come pick a cupcake. <laughs> so good. <laughs> that look on your face. <laughs> Is it snowing? Better not be. <laughs> False alarm, it's just rain. Sorry for hearing noises in the background. I'm FaceTiming with my sister. And we're watching Siglemix live stream, so there's Mario noises. I'm gonna have to get some baking Tupperware, like big ass Tupperware containers for baking, because these are the biggest containers I have, and I only have these two. So I can put 10 cupcakes and that's it. That's all the ones I have left because we ate two of the 12, but I just need bigger Tupperware containers. I just need more Tupperware in general because I am running out. All right, so here we got compressor set up and here's the gun and I'm all ready to go. Well, I gotta put this paper on, but I'm gonna start filming. So yeah, I kind of forgot how to use the compressor because last time I did this, I just used the air cans. I'm like, how do I do the compressor set up again? So I got it figured out, and uh, yeah, time to airbrush. So 
So here is the finished Jack Frost picture. The background's kind of silly, but it was really, really fun to do. So for the white stars, basically I started off with the white background, right? So what I did was I stuck down little stars. Well, I'll explain it all in the art video, but I, I licked these and stuck them on the paper so they'd stick. And then I spray painted and then I took them all off and then I made a little stencil. There's tape because my hole punch is small. It can only punch the side of the paper. So I had to rip out a piece, put it in the middle of a bigger piece of paper. And then I use that as a stencil to do all the colored stars. So had a lot of fun doing all those. Kind of got a little carried away. It's kind of a silly background, but uh, it was so fun to do. So there is Prince Jack Frost. So I got the Jack Frost picture scanned, edited, posted to my social network sites. It's all good to go. And we had a quick bite to eat and we're gonna go to the Lego movie. And I think we're gonna pick up some snacks at Superstore to bring into the movie. So guess what? <laughs> okay, we got to the mall, went to Superstore to get our snacks. And then we went to the theater and it's not like it was last minute or anything, but the show was sold out. So there was nothing we could do. And then I was Googling on my phone trying to find a different theater, but the other one that's easy to get to had the same show time, so we would have wouldn't have made it there in time. Plus it was sold out according to the page I was looking at. So it's just like Argh. So our only option would be to go to the late show at ten ten, which means I probably wouldn't get to bed till midnight which is kind of late because I have work, but I'm usually up till midnight anyway, so it's not like that big of a deterrent. Or we could go tomorrow, which is cheap Tuesday, but I just kind of like eat up my whole evening because I'd be at work all day. So, I don't know, I'm kind of leaning towards going tonight, but we'll see how it goes. So it looks like we are going to the Lego movie tonight. We just bought our tickets, which means I should edit this vlog before I go to the movie since we're gonna get back really late and I have work tomorrow. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow. This is from Fryman. He made me this cute little picture. And then this is from Miss Carrie J. I've been looking all over for this. Like, oh, I'm so glad I have this now. So, uh, oh man, I'm just like so glad I have this back. This is an envelope from Art by Carity Haley because uh, she drew me this. Oh God, like all my favorite pictures were in here.